here is probably one of the smartest, biggest character, most fun horses I've ever worked with. And his owner's all right, too. <laughs> She's fun to work with. Uh, this is them working together with a ball. Um, I really like this because this is a very highly trained dressage horse. Um, he's an Oldenburg, and I just like to show that he can loosen up and have a good time, and he loves this game. We worked on playing ball with him, and you can see that he's gotten quite enthusiastic about it. And um, I just wanted to show some of the play that he does here. This is a really fun way to warm your horse up. Um, you can see he's finding his own creative ways to play and if you let the horse uh, show you and offer you what he wants to do, you often can get a great game going and have a way to exercise and interact and connect. Um, this is a great tool for working with um, spooking and um, getting a horse braver. Um, I was really actually shocked at how much this horse took to this. Um, he really, really likes it. You can see he's getting uh, a lot of enthusiasm for it. So um, we like to pretend the corners are where you score a goal. So you know when the horse puts the ball in the corner, I always say goal. And um, in particular, this is an older horse. You know, he's, um, I believe, about 20, and um, he enjoys this exercise. You know, it's not too strenuous on him. It um, helps him move around and and stay active and flexible in a really low impact way. <laughs> Even when he gets quite uh, enthusiastic, there he was really, really going for it. So um, sometimes we'll ride after this, you know, lets him warm up, and uh, sometimes that's all that we do. We just play. Here's an interesting uh, play we're doing here where we're involving the dogs and the horse together in the liberty work. And for those of you who don't know, I do natural dogmanship also, it's part of my business. And I haven't shown my dog training skills lately, but I thought I'd show it here. Um, this uh, horse and the dogs are learning how to respect each other's space and to work together and stay calm and relaxed. And the interesting thing was that the horses, um, he's not afraid of dogs, he's quite dominant, and the dogs were getting excited when... Um, the person here, um, the owner would work with them, they would get uh, very excited and barking when she would work with the horse. So um, she asked if I would help her sort of do what I do, which was what I wanted to show the dog and the horse is that they're part of the same family. And even though one is predator and one is prey, that uh, the person is the leader and they're all part of the family and she was working on making the horse understand the dog's comfort levels and personal space and the horse also was uh, offering his help there to uh, work nicely next to them and uh, the dogs were learning how to not get so worried that she wouldn't look out for them when that big horse was running next to them so previously the larger dog used to uh, bark and, and get very wound up when you would move quickly with the horse. And so what she needed to know is that uh, her person would look out for her and that the dogs didn't need to worry, one, about um, the big horse coming around them and coming too close to them. We had to teach him to stay out of their space. And two, that um, she would protect them and that they could stay calm and relax about that. So you see them starting to learn how to work with that. And then here we put them in a leading from behind position and you see the horse doesn't feel threatened by that at all. More horse funship and natural dogmanship.